Uh, hello everybody, uh, back at the layout. Uh, do a quick check in from right to left. Um, I'm starting to carry the grass. I'm going to start this project next. I've already pinned down some of the batting, the low loft quilt batting. Uh, farm area, I like the way that turned out so far. Again, the riverbed I'll come back to later. And uh, that's going to be the last, one of the last things that I do. Um, so I haven't glued down the covered bridge or anything. Still plenty of room to get in there and work. But uh, planning on probably going the tissue paper route, um, get a nice contour in the bottom, paint it, seal it, and then start to figure out what to do for the water effect. Um, gravel roads came in nicely. Uh, crossing bridges are nice. Um, like I said before, I think I'd do it all over again. I'd buy the all-in-one units. Um, there is quite a bit of wiring underneath there that you have to do to the track with these older ones, but uh, I like the way they look. Uh, grassy areas on the gravel roads leading up to the post office. Um, then we transition over to the city. It took me a while to figure out how to do the rough pavement road look that I wanted, but uh, I like the way that ended up looking. Um, essentially used plaster cloth, a couple layers of plaster cloth, um, then a layer of sculpt -a mold and then uh, latex paint, and then covered that with acrylic paint to um, kind of color in the effect, and I'm still working with it. I'll, I'll continue to work with that after the models, the base layer is done. Sidewalks, I used a 1 8 inch foam board. Um, I still got to do some touch-up work there, obviously. And uh, I like the way that's all coming together. I've added some vehicles since the last time uh, that I did the video. These again are Hallmark ornaments. Um, most of these have an Indiana tie to them. Duesenberg is out of Indianapolis. Um, got the Lionel Diner. I've got the gravel worked in here. Gravel pull off area. The depot. I've got my utility pole uh, put in here. Probably going to put the basketball court over here. Can't have something in Indiana without a basketball court on it. Uh, more store factory. That's all looking, I think, pretty good. At least as the first pass goes. Uh, water tower. Again, this is all woodland scenic stuff. Uh, so these taverns back here in the back. So when the workers get out of the door factory, they can go get a drink. And likewise, uh, the Herman's sauerkraut factory over here. Got the guys in the back making the sauerkraut. Herman is my grandfather's name, uh, by the way. And a uh, slight tribute to him. And then we're back to the general store. So, next part of the project is uh, take this quilt batting, low loft quilt batting. Um, I've already pinned it down and kind of cut it to fit in. I pulled up the track. Uh, screws that were holding the uh, graduating trestle. Did that for a couple reasons. One, I had to get underneath it anyway to put the batting. And this was the size screw that I was using uh, before. Well, I felt like it wasn't holding the track down. And so I ended up going from to a one and a half inch. So it's a number four, one and a half inch. Number four because uh, given the size of the fast track graduate trestle holes and even the fast track itself, um, the number four just fits nicely in that hole. It's not too big, not too little. Um, so the next step, back to that, I'm going to take my Mod Podge, um, take my foam brush, and start to pull up sections of the batting that I pinned down, put the Mod Podge down, set the batting back down, and just kind of work around until I work in Mod Podge underneath um, all of the areas across the back. And then also... Uh, back there behind. So, a little bit of work ahead of me, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this glue put down and let it dry uh, for a day or two and then come back and do the next step uh, of putting the grasslands in. So, catch you later.